Test, test. More tests. Works fine, probably. Okay, hello everyone. Another episode of Skyward Sword is awaiting us. Um, I think last time we've beaten another dungeon and honestly we're getting very much close to the end I believe. I'm not sure there might be a lot of a lot more gameplay happening. I did check and apparently this game doesn't have nine dungeons as I previously thought. So honestly I'm not sure how far we are from the end. Anyway, enough with the preamble opening. It is time to actually jump into it. So as I'd like to always say, and these are definitely my own words, trademarked and everything. Let's just jump into it, guys. Anyway, there we go. Um, my controller is... Oh no, what's happening? Oh, okay. I need to disable some sounds, but other than that, it'll be fine. Doof. Bye-bye. There we go. I can hear everything now. Um, oh no, there's one thing I need to get rid of. Give me one moment. That, no, that is interesting. Okay, that's how this works. Okay, good. Um, Zelda's Coward Sword. There we go. I've, I've looked at, uh, a possible story that I might have jumped, or sorry, might have skipped. So, I will definitely want to see that, considering I have not seen that cutscene yet. And it's literally at the beginning, so we need to wait for it to actually go into the cutscene. And after that, we just, you know, we'll actually watch the introduction, because apparently it does have some important information regarding the, what was it called? Uh... Exposition, yes. Exposition to the story. We can now admire the logo. Oh, there we go. This is a tale that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. Okay. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. This is some build-up. Okay, good. All the audio seems to be working. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace. The goddess. Or the goddess. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, look at the races! We can now recognize them. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Oh, this is the coveted Triforce. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed in the care of the goddess. Honestly, what... Wait. To prevent its great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands. The goddess get. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an, on an outcropping of earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. Okay, so this is Skyloft, I presume. Okay. 
With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces sailing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Hmm, is that the boss fight with a... This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Well, that's us, that the text is talking about. Okay, that's it. Well, I would say this is a very important exposition considering it explains at least a, f a few things. Like who's Zelda in this game? Why are people on the islands and shit? Well, considering that this is actually optional, I don't think that was a smart decision to do. But oh well. Who am I about complaining about plot holes and details and such nonsense? Frivolous things if you say if you if, if I say so myself Anyway, we're traveling I believe now to the sealed grounds because we've gotten the master sword Which I think is fully powered up whatever that means And it's time to fly like the wind to the I wanted to say sky above, but honestly, we're actually flying towards the land below. But it doesn't have a nice ring to it, so... Oh, well. Okay, there we go. Dive deep into that one specific patch of clouds that we can actually go through the surface to. I still don't understand how this is supposed to protect the earth, because when we looked from the earth, the skies were beautiful, you could actually see through them. But here, this would suggest that there is literally no sunlight going to the ground, or, or wait, the surface, yes. Honestly, that is the most interesting and intriguing thing to me about this entire game. Point to your preferred location, um, uh, seal grounds. Yes, I shall descend into this area. I love pronouncing the word area like area. I don't know why, I just love it. Okay. Wait, what is this? This is new. I definitely am certain that there was not any wood and railing. That is definitely new. Oh no, this means... Mm, I see. Yeah, we, I know we're gonna fight the guy, but I did not expect there to be some sort of a concoction. Well, I might be corrected when I say that this fight is not the worst. I got this chair. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's even worse. I guess we can speak oh. to Impa. Oh, your sword! There could be no doubt. The sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. Mm. That power is a sacred force. It is the divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you and the sword you carry. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a sky will strike, and it will surely awaken. Climb upon the pedestal. Okay, will you then tell me how to wait? How to hold my sword up uh, and all that? Because this is getting oddly too specific about how to do it. Climb upon the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. Okay, Grus, what do you, what do you want to say, Grus? <laughs> Yo, Link, the rail track I put up aside, eh? What it's, what's it for? Duh! Oh, you'll see before long. Oh, you might be onto something there. 
And... Oh, sh oh. Oh, I thought I need to shoot him. No, I fear the seal has been given away once again. The terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no other way to open the gate, so it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. Alright, bring it on! This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out of my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of tea doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. Oh, this is a new Groose. The old one would whimper and cry. Anyway, yes, this is the fabled three times the same boss fight. Fight. Now's the second time. The first one was okay, I guess. But I, I'm sure this one's going to be more annoying. Because gimmicks. Hey, Link! Da da da! Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grucinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. Okay. First, I go all the fences, cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know. Anyhow, just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put hurting... I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on, though. That monster showed up on a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move to the rails. I've put her down. I'll call... Okay, why are you done wasting my time explaining it? Just start fixing it. I'm gonna seal it away. I'll call, call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Okay. Okay, I presume we're going... Why can't I move when I'm falling? That's definitely something I do not like. There we go. There we go. The ugly piñata. Well, it's not even looking like piñata, but it kind of does, if you think about it. I guess it could, it could work as a piñata if it had more colors. Anyway, the ugly sock puppets, if you will. The imprisoned. Oh, are we doing this again? Look at that! Seems like our ugly friend grew itself a pair of hands. Great timing! I hope it knows how to catch, because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to stop it. Okay, fuck you. Oh wait, what's happening? Oh, I see! That is definitely something I do not... Failing! The mission's all loaded up and ready to smash! That flabby sack of thick tries to climb the wall, I can blast it up from here with a bomb. When you want some backup from me, just send a signal with X. Um, I guess we're doing that. Adjust the machine's position with L and aim at your target. Once you finish aiming, blah blah blah, thank you, ZR. Okay. There we go. Ah, she packs a mean punch, doesn't she? I tell you, I was, I was in love the first time I pulled this lever. I'll start loading her back up with another bomb, so keep battling that ugly thing. Oh my god, can you, like, the camera, please? 
Okay, there we go. Oh, really? So that's it. Okay. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, my God, really? Are you blocking me? Oh, my. Stop it. I know I need to hit it. There we go. First time's the punch, I guess. Okay, it's gonna definitely go... Those finger things are so disgusting. Oh my god, fuck you. There we go. One heart, I'll take. There we go. Another one. You need to have a doctor look at that, those feet, my dear. Those are some terrible looking feet. Okay, how do we go across? Oh, there we go. I thought it's gonna be... Okay, the second one is now done. Now we did one more hit. Oh, it's doing the... Quick climb thing. Um... This feels like something I shouldn't be doing now. Oh my god. You fucking piece of shit! Oh, okay. It's just gotten... whatever. Okay, the finger licking part. Where do we go? Where is it? It's so high! Yeah, there it is. Okay, um... Mm. No! No! There we go, thank you. Please stop it. I appreciate this little break time I have gotten. Ah! No, no, fucking, fuck it, fuck it, no. This is terrible. It's getting. Oh my god, really? That's so bullshit. I see that it's going up. You don't need to remind me. Okay, 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 check it. There we go. This is definitely one of the worst fights. I can see why that's a very common opinion. Oh no, is it gonna throw me off? Okay, at least that's not happening, hopefully. Let me go around, please. No! Why is this a thing? Oh my god, please, please, don't. Oh my god, please, 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 fuck me, please, don't. Do this to me. Please, 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 fuck you. Please, 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 please. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, this is definitely one of the worst fights. And the third one is even going to be even more annoying. This one was annoying. It definitely went up faster. And it also was a bit more stompy, so it kind of 
was more annoying. Also, it can it also blocked the way with its hands, so that was kind of mean. So I had to go like around. Oh, that's not going to be an issue with the third fight. Otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay. Oh, we're going to be drawing some f shapes, right? I if I remember correctly. No, Link! Strike the ceiling spike with a scarlet sword and restore the seal quickly! Oh my god, if there was a stupid time event where it would be like you have only two seconds to do it or the monster would come out again. Fuck that. There we go. What are we drawing? Okay, we're drawing a uh, lightning bolt. What a nice icon. This is definitely a gimmick, but still. Nice. Why did this why did the seal break so easily though? Hey. Nice work, Dead Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Roos. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get back let's get that gate time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Honestly, Gruz, I do have to thank you because this boss fight, otherwise I would be totally smacked around. Does this give out hearts? Of course it doesn't. Oh no, it does. My eye stand corrected. Hmm. I still don't have enough. But I have a sufficient number of hearts. So that's the important key. I can definitely go this way for some reason. That's where the bombs are. Oh, this is just one thing that we'll be using bombs. I do not I don't know what to think of that. Okay. I definitely need to be more effective with the um with the Grusinator in the third fight, so that's something to teach myself. Oh look at those beautiful flowers in shapes of hearts. What kind of flower is this? Did it kill an animal and then take its heart and grow make it grow to be a part of itself? That would be a cool flower. You know, like there's the uh, piranha, not piranha plants. I, I'm thinking of Mario. No, I mean the... Wait, story time. It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Link. As you do you, Gruz. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if, to, if you two hadn't been here. <laughs> oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could do to help. <laughs> I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Link, you must wonder just you must wonder what just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I could tell you, but suffice to say, it is the root of the evil we we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it and its source, or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate with a skyward strike. <laughs> Come on already, charge that sword of yours with that sacred force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time. Okay. Right, Granny? Mm. Indeed. Now, Link, go. Go to the gate. If Fee now tells me... Oh, she would have told me what to do. I'm so happy I'm not playing the Wii version. Okay, I want to see the animation. Transformers, transform. Okay. Okay. Gate of time stuff happening. Boobly, boobly, boobly. Magic.
I was just gonna build it from the cubes to goddess cubes this is all they've been doing they never vanished they never truly vanished they just been moved here okay no wonder how you no no matter how you're gonna push these cubes together this is never going to make an actual good shape you know Yeah, it almost didn't work. Well, that's how the time works. Ooh, the animations here are so beautiful. Okay, what are you gonna tell me? Do not fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, this gate has been reactivated. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Hmm, okay. So she is at the sealed ground, but like, in the past. Uh. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when we to quit. And Granny here keeps yapping on about... On and on about how we never know when it might be bust free in again. <laughs> Someone's gonna stick around and guard the place. <laughs> might as well be me. Oh, you, you actually turned out to be a very nice character there, Groose. Where are your lackeys? Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? Uh... And you know what? <laughs> yeah. Nah, forget about it. Oh wow. Honestly, Chris is one of the best characters in this game, so far. Or at least, well, at least he's been developed. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, What's up? Oh my god, that's what you wanted to say? You're gonna see her again, you know. Okay. Time to go to the past. Without the Ocarina. To help us. How will this work? Touchy, 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 activate. I was expecting the Twilight Princess, the animation now. Yeah, that's kind of cool as well. I was expecting... Like the Mirror of Twilight thing. Oh well. Temple of Hylia. Oh, we can't go that way now. I'm gonna save. Definitely. Okay, I might have wrote the end of this game, but I feel like that's not going to happen yet. Hey! Alas! I've been expecting you, Link. You are doubtless overwhelmed. You are doubt. You are doubtless overwhelmed. Oh, you mean doubtlessly overwhelmed. Okay. You are doubtlessly overwhelmed. So I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia. Though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here the goddess Hylia has now, has only just sealed away demise. A little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. Wow, you really... So Nintendo didn't animate this at all, they just told me that it happened. Okay. It is true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. 
Oh, we've never been there. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend waits for you. Hmm, I wonder if Girahim has followed us or something. He doesn't seem to be the type to stop. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. She doesn't seem happy. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home, to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about the war we heard growing up in Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. Okay. Good to know. I've never heard any of them. Except the intro one. I think it's time you learned the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used the power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. But this floating rock became the new home for our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess, Hylia, succeeded in sealing away demise. However, soon after the Demon King was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She is a goddess. How is she injured? Just a side note. She knew that if she if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. I think it's just there standing there like uh, uh. Come on, Zelda, la or something like that. I'm trying to be like the British kind of person, but it doesn't work for me. Anyway, yeah, Link is just dumbfounded. He's just looking at Zelda's ass. Just being like, mm, 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 and well, Zelda's having this beautiful monologue or something. Yeah, I needed to ruin this moment. I'm happy that I ruined it. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. Only this land? So the other continents would be okay. That's good. That lowers the stakes quite significantly. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. <gasps> oh, the ass is sublime! First, she created Fee, the most annoying thing on this planet, to make sure that Demise would never wish to see the land again if she were to, to bother him for the rest of eternity. She made a spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. Why would she do this though? What's the point? She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. Oh, so she can't use it. For a while, a supreme power of the Trifles was created by gods. All of its power can never be wielded by one. All of the power can never be wielded by one. Well, that's why she sacrificed. That, that's actually a smart nerf. Good, cho good choice there, old gods. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? I definitely do not have a boob job done. I mean, you are the chosen hero, and I. Zelda, for the first. I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. The day of the ceremony. Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at all. Oh, wait! That's Impa, right? So the old woman's also Impa, I think. Spoilers. I had no memory at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. 
She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray to the... Oh, sorry. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located each temple in each temple across the land. These statues stirred up memories within me. After I visited the mall, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. Isn't she Sheikah? Or are Sheikah not a thing yet? Maybe she creates the sheep. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, you can say that again, those feet, my god, he needs to go to the salon. That's not helpful, th those little pimple things. Ugh, disgusting, he needs to have that fixed. But even, even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him, at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain the seal as best as I can. As long as I continue this vi vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> Oh, what does this mean? I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I created so long ago and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Link, the goddess created Fee and the Great Blade she's, she's a part of for a very specific reasons. For the task of standing against the mice in the monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. How do you know that? You haven't been to the past for a very long time, and Impa clearly doesn't have some weird voodoo magic. Or maybe she... Nah, no. How do you know that? I can't thank you enough for that, Link. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming and by overcoming the trial set before you by the goddess, you found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power of the old gods left behind for our kind. You can indeed claim the trifles. I've added those words in because I thought they were more poetic. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage. And for this, I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. Triforce activate! And the weird transformation sequence that all of the animes has. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend, and that within you dwells sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. Oh, the sound! I have goosebumps. I knew it wasn't the same Master Sword. Now it's the awakened form. Finally. Now imbued with mythical power to drive back demons, and only Link may wield it. So this is the first hero. The mice is the Ganondorf, and this is the first Zelda, right? That, that explains a, a lot, I think, actually. Link. Before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to vanquish the mice once and for all. The problem is, among count the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. What does this mean? I do not like the sound of the mm, unwieldable spirit part. It's impossible to know the true reason why, this, why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it 
so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the land. Which brings us back to you. The face to face demise and give this land hope. The goddess, Hylia, needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I. I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger, without even a moment's doubt. I... I used you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all of this, Link. But you have to understand this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. You just said balance. That completely eradicates the idea of scales, once you specifically say to put them in your favor. All that may be well intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. Oh, wow. Oh, we didn't get to catch the Zelda smile. Link, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in all this. But, until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> And here we go. Link, you definitely do not understand. While it's true that I am highly reborn, I'm still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all this is over, will you come and wake me up? I promise. That's the best one to use now. <laughs> oh, the horrified face. Well, I guess Zelda is no more, at least for a very long time. Thousands of years. There must be a better way of doing this, I'm sure there is. At least she waited. At least she didn't seal herself up, you know, earlier. And then when we could come to the past, we would just see this big stone slab. And the door is closed. Well, I know what I'm gonna do, Impa. What are you going to do? Oh, this is so solemn. Just walking down like this. I definitely do not want to speak to Fee. I see you've said goodbye. Now you must keep promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There is work to be done there. <laughs> Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over her here. Go now and fulfill your destiny. I swear to God, if that piece of shit demise bullshit will go up again. Uh, once I return, I'll be very disappointed. So we've done all this for the express purpose of talking to Zelda about... <laughs> How we do not want to talk to her. Wait, how... Is this... How do I go back to the past? Oh, I see. Open. That makes much more sense. I'm still curious how they programmed the uh, wheel disappearing, but... I'm not sure how they done that. That seems like a very difficult thing to do. 
So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without... Wait, she was there the entire time? Oh, actually, would it matter if they told me? That could have changed things. Okay, I'm not mad. It actually might have tampered with the time. I spend it in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. Not without food, she isn't. True to legend, the Trifor is the one thing that the power t with the power to vanquish demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link. You have likely come to the conclusion, but I will spell it out just, just the same. The key to find the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Mm. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. No. Whoa, whoa there, hold up. Link, there's something I gotta tell you. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> so, Zelda, how she's holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with him. She, he deserves at least that much. That's terrible. I gotta be so hard on the... It's gotta be so hard on the poor girl. But you're going to do something about this mess, right? <laughs> Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. <laughs> oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah. Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's gonna be- <laughs> Someone's gotta watch that thing, ugly monster. Someone's gonna make sure Granny's doing alright. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Like, if living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. Check it out! Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into the beast of a tree in soil like this. It'd brighten up this place up a little too. I mean, sure, it'd take it a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but I got nothing but time. It's weird to say it out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let let people know I'm doing I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stretch might get a little emotional since they look up to me. But you tell them I'm happy, okay? Thanks, Link. Oh, it's the weed smoker and the long face, right? I know that's mean, but honestly, they look like that. I am not being able to help. Maybe. I hope this episode will be a little bit more action-packed. But it might not be. So... Oh my god, really? I was so close. Okay. The seal is being taken care of, I believe. Oh wait, they're back. <laughs> wow, how? Oh my god, fuck you. I don't care about birds anymore. I actually do. I want to upgrade the shield and I need a bird's feather. For that. I forgot how to cap to them. Oh, there we go. We've got some the blue feather, I think. How many do we have? Is it? Is it actually the blue feather? We have four. How many do I need? Anyway, I think I have enough for the shield to be upgraded. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me. It's definitely hard getting used to the camera, I'll be honest. But now it's actually difficult to not be used to it. I tried playing Monster Hunter the other day. And the controls of this game were very ingrained in my mind when I played it. So whenever, whenever I wanted to move the camera, I was I would just hold this. And Monster Hunter, when you hold L and do the camera or the right stick, it would actually bring up the item menu, and you would use up your item. 
I can t I cannot tell you how many potions I've used up on accident because of this. But I did beat Cam Camellios, I think, so there's that. I might do one more stream of Monster Hunter if I'm up for it. We'll see. For now, Zelda is a big thing. Honestly, if once I finish Zelda, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do a daily stream thing anymore. Well, at least for a long time, because I I kind of want to have a little bit of a break too. But so far, it's been doing well. As in, in my mind, not actually. It's doing terrible. But it doesn't matter to me, for now. Keep in mind, this is literally for me re being able to, you know... Have a calm little gaming evening and maybe expecting nothing in return. You know, just having a little bit of fun. Once the, once the university starts, I will probably be doing projects here as well. Like, once that's gonna go up. I really like those streams. So, there's that. Anyway, we're going to the school. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if this broken, broken, whatever, corresponds to a certain other place we've seen so far in this game. I wonder. Oh, wait, if this goes down, connects with the sealed grounds, and there's Master Sword in the back, then this is probably Temple of Time, because that's usually where the Master Sword resides. At least in Ocarina of Time. Maybe a bit further, who knows? Who can say? Oh, and this music. Definitely fitting the end of the world is coming soon, and we need to make sure that Demise is not being dead. It's like... Ah. Anyway, you're one of the lackeys, right? He sounds exactly like I expected a drug little gremlin to sound. Hey, I just checked Grace's room, and the guy's gone. You got any idea where he went? Maybe he had to run away because of his broken heart? <laughs> what a tough guy! But that's the opposite of tough, actually. Hey, hey I just checked Bruce's room, and the guy's gone! Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, the... They share a room? That's actually so sad. That they have to share a room. Wait, there seems to be a big wall. Is that Bruce's room on the other side? I hope that it is, because that would make this so much better. Oh, it is! Oh my god, that's so much better. So many fucking dumbbells. I didn't know they were invented in the Skyward Sword. Who has a picture of them? <laughs> Who has the picture of themselves on a wall? What kind of... Oh my god. Wait, there's a feather? Is that... No, that, that's another feather. Okay, or a quill. No, that's a feather. Let me look through his stuff. Ooh! You really shouldn't open other people's cupboard without permission. Oh, nothing interesting. Wait, they live now here, but where do they have their actual houses, right? Because Skyloft isn't big enough for that. So I'm supposed to- you know, I'm gonna go to the headmaster since I'm already here. He probably has some clues and whatnot about this- the- what it, what's it called? Triforce. I literally just called what's it called the actual relic of the game. Wait, the headmaster's room is here. I hope he's here. I wanna look for him around this place again. Oh, there he is. Hey. Oh, hello, Link. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't. Hmm, I understand. I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice for that matter. But I wish to help you as best as I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth. But even old men have ways of being helpful. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any question, any question at all about Skyloft and its history, 
I will be glad to tell you what I know. Actually, I do have a question regarding the... Do you know... Just, just, just do you know anything about this, you know? It's a small thing. Really, it's like not valuable at all. You know, the sacred goddess element called Triforce that, that makes your every wish come true. Have you heard of that, perhaps? Oh, we did ask that, actually. What do I know about the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient text makes several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location of the Triforce isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link. It shames me to say it, but my knowledge is of little use on the subject, literally after your entire preamble on how you knew everything. Sad. Well, what do you know then? Do I know any anyone else who might know more about the Triforce? Within Skyloft? No. I doubt anyone else in town would know much about the subject and ancient Arsarchaic as that. There, I believe... Link, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're fam familiar with Levias, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Where is he? Yes, I fear that might be your next question. About that. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in your skies. Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levi's is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked instructor o Olin to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to acquire, inquire about these findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Olin can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Honestly? Um... I kind of been in there, in the Thunderhead thing, and there's nothing. Like, there's a rainbow. <sighs> there's a piece of rainbow and that's it. Also, speaking of which, um... So that, I, I kind of mentioned before that it's weird that the Thunderhead cloud thing is there. Like, literally just placed there. But honestly, it kind of makes sense now. Why it's just a randomly placed there, because it just literally randomly appeared. I thought it was like an actual feature for eons of ages. That would have been that would have been a bit weird, but if it's like this, then it's fine. Okay. Where is this instructor Oland? Or Owland, or whatever his name is. I will definitely appreciate his ancient wisdom regarding the thing that can fulfill any wish. Okay, he's not here. I'm sure the old man mentioned it, where he is. And I'm sure if I click fee, she would probably spell out its exact location with an X mark and shit. But honestly, no. I refuse. I refuse to talk to fee more than that's ne more than is necessary. Mm, where might Olin be? I'm gonna speak to one of these villagers. That's a much better way of doing this. I still haven't seen any sign of Cookie Elling. Are you really looking for her? What, she's safe? That's a huge relief. I'm so glad you tracked her down, Link. I knew you could do it. Okay, that's it. You should go and let Cookie Elling mother know. I'm sure she's... Okay, whatever. She knows. How can you be even more useful? How can you be even more useful than I would expect you to not be? That's the best way to ask. Oh, these pieces of shit. Drown all of them, that's all I say. Hmm? Oh, the girl who went missing has been found safe? I see, so she wasn't abducted after all. That's a relief to hear. Well, anyway, I guess that case is closed. Great work, Vigilant Knight. Um, no, thank you. You really shouldn't thank me. The kit is not safe at all. Beetle's Air Shop. Item check girl, Patricia, whatever. What's this? Oriel and Paro's house. The Plaza. Knight Academy. Sparring Hall. Statue of the Goddess. He might be there. 
I'm going to the Statue of the Goddess. I don't know why, it seems like a place to be. And not because it's just literally the highest place of this entire collection of rocks. Or that it literally has the word Goddess in it. It's just, just random. And that's all there is to it. It's so warm here, like not not in the game, in the real life, and it's terrible. I hate warm weather. Can we cancel sun? Just genuinely. I think all of our problems will be solved if we cancel sun. Like, no global warming, no heat in the summer, no evil mean things. Just, just cancel the sun, honestly. Can we do that? Boy, do I fear that we might need to speak to Fee. I want to evade that if, if possible, but I probably do not have a choice in the matter. Uh, no, no, de no, definitely not inside of this, because you definitely wanted to say something stupid and unimportant. Fine, you win. Master! Really, that... I'm, I'm not even reading that. I'm not even dignifying. Yeah, I'm not even dignifying that with an actual read. Objective. There is an 80% probability that you can get information about the Triforce from Levias, the Great Spirit of Disguise. Instructor Ola knows a great deal about Levias. I recommend that you ask him for more information about the Great Spirit. Current session... Okay, so thank you for not being helpful at all, like you tend to be. Not helpful at all. So you told me exactly what I knew, and you didn't add any information. Frankly, I'm surprised. That you proved to be even less useful than I expected. Yet you somehow managed. So congratulations, Fee. You will be forever remembered. Maybe not in the way you wish to be, but... You will definitely be remembered. Maybe he's in class. Yeah, he seems like a type who would be in class or something. Wait. What's this? Oh, just random window. Who built this place? Look at the windows, they're just randomly placed. And different styles too. This is definitely a designer's nightmare. Who would put windows here? That's literally the most- oh my god. I cannot, no. This is definitely the worst design building I've seen so far. Not like, actually designed, but like more, more so built in architecturally speaking, of course. Okay, he's not here. I'm not talking to her. Although she probably is as old as the Leviathan, so she could theoretically help me. <laughs> but no. Oh no, what, what do you want? Hi. Hey Link! What do you think about Pipit? He's nice. <laughs> yes, yes he is! He's kind of kind and caring and handsome and wonderful. Oh dear, I don't know what's come over me all of a sudden. Sorry for bothering you with such an awkward question. Okay, so there's definitely a love triangle, perhaps, going on. This little... Oh, that's my room. Okay, um, no, I, I want to speak to this Olin. How do I find this Olin? None of you are useful at all. Fine, I'm already here. I might as well speak to Headmaster. Where is he? If you wish to know more about Levi's current location, speak with Instructor Olin. He should be in his chambers next door. Oh, okay, so I literally... Oh my god. One line I miss and that's where it tells me what needs to be done. Anyway, give me one moment. I'm gonna bring some water. Okay. This is definitely more of the story-focused episode. Instructor Olin. I take his room. I think it's very nice. Definitely better than Gruce's room. Full of flowers. Mm. Ah, Ling. How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias. Also, oh, you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. It's correct, if I'm correct. Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias that we all know. That's... a monster. It certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes, they are full of malice. Ooh, 
did he say malice? A very breath of the wild term right there, you know, Arlen. Get into the get with the times. This is literally more than 10,000 10, years in the future. Malice. Using such words. People change. Or old. Or old. Wise and creatures change, I rather. Perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And even if you were close enough to talk to him, it will likely end up with you getting brushed aside and sent flying on your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Except that you're grounded because you're still technically not an adult and we have full responsibility over you. You're grounded and you need to stay in your room for the foreseeable future. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Okay. Hey. Levi's is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that holds over him, and there's a chance he will return to his senses, listen well, Link, because I've, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Using the Spiral Charge, you can read the vise of the blight that has hold of him, and not a Breath of the Wild turn. The technique is quite easy to perform. All you have to do is press X. However, the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. Maintaining stable flight can be tricky. This is, this is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high-level flight skills are allowed to perform. It's a little bit too early for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. First, dive off this platform and call your bird. Oh. Okay. Listen up, Link. I told your Loftwing to perform a spell charge when you press X. Use a spell charge attack to break the 10 targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy 10 targets in under 120 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, off you go. Well, I did technically already learn it, right? Okay. This is the highly skilled attack. Okay, that definitely didn't help. Oh, fuck you, bird. Why is there a time limit? What the fuck is this for? Oh my god, this bird riding thing. There we go. Hey. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, really? Fuck you. This is a dumb mission anyway. Thirty-five. Okay. Oh, the bird is dead. I definitely need to do all of them, I guess. Oh, fuck me! Oh, come on. Okay, I'm definitely failing this. Who came up with this mission? Mm. Thank you for nothing. Why is this timed? I have to say Zelda and not spend time with your bullshit. If you can't destroy 10 targets in under 20 minutes, I can't in good conscience give you permission to use this dangerous technique. But how... 
permission? How are you gonna see what's gonna happen in the Thunderhead? <sighs> so stupid. I need to save Zelda. And kill the mice, not to spend time your sorry ass teaching me something in 120 seconds. Mm. This is definitely something that they didn't thought about. Mm. There could have been different things you could have done. Why 120 second bullshit minigame? Mm. Okay, whatever. I'll do it. Whatever. Just, just mm. shut up. You're getting annoying. Why is everyone in this game so keen on me not actually helping them? Like, the world. Okay, fine. Thank you. Then, there we go. I definitely don't want to see your face again after this. And here I thought you were the nice and cool teacher who actually knew the importance of time. How wrong I was. Why do I only have three of these charges? What's wrong with you? It's definitely useless. This game has a tutorial literally at the third act of the gameplay. It's ridiculous. Okay. Four. I guess we're going this one. Okay, five. Let's see me fail this. Okay, let's see this way. There. Seven. Okay, you bird. Eight. Okay, nine. May I never see your stupid dumb face again after this. There we go. May I never see your dumb face again. 120 seconds for this bullshit. Oh, you managed to destroy 10 targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. And what a magnificent red bird. That is very sexual, but I'm not even gonna glorify that with response anymore because I'm so angry at Olin. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how to go about finding Levias. Maybe the owner of the lumpy pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup to Levias. Go to lumpkin go to the lumpy pumpkin and ask him what he knows. And hopefully you'll fall and your bird won't come. That was horrendous. Why was I forced to do that? Anyway, where's Lumpy Pumpkin? It was it was somewhere, I just forgot where. Oh it's there. I see where it is. Okay, this bird riding is a bit too slow. Hey, there we go. Lumpy pumpkin it is. And here we are. Save. I do not want to redo that mission again. Saving progress. Hmm. Which one of you is the owner? Oh! I see something I will absolutely hate. I hope this is not what I think it is. Welcome to the Lumpy Pumpkin! This here is a very bird's rider favorite dress shop. Coincidentally, it's also the only one. Of course, this is the only place you can drink on our famous homemade pumpkin soup. Judging from the look on your face, I'd say you've got something stewing in your mind. Actually. Levias? What about him? Sure, I know Levias well, but it hasn't... I wasn't aware of anything was wrong. 
Every year I offer him, I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. No. You say you'll deliver a pot of soup to Levias? Huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make Levias the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before. Okay. I hope this is gonna be just simply fly to the place. That was the sound effect. From from Breath of the Wild. I see what you did there, Nintendo. Voila! Here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years. And I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. Master, I will signal for the I will signal for the robot. Miss V, I'm here. Oh, the trash can. And here I thought I will never see you again. Well, we are all disappointed. Oh, this is another heavy load. But do not worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Za. I feel the same same way as the guy who's cleaning the dish, honestly. The place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Hunterhead Cloud, on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck! And that's where I expected the soup would go, but... There's that. Anyway, I hope for everything that's good and holy that I do not have to do any sort of a weird mission of... I, I don't even know what. I just want to be able to go and fly there and that's it. Honestly, this entire thing just feels like padding anyway, so... But, like, this game can be so good when it's not just padding or wasting your time. Like, in sections like this. Anyway. That's my little rant. The trash can definitely has me feeling very bad. Not about him, about me having to be stuck with him. Portal, portal. Can we, can we fly a bit faster? That would be absolutely amazing. Finally. Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. Go down. That apparently makes us go fast. I do not see any improvement in velocity right now. Okay, that definitely is not faster. I guess we're just stuck traveling at a given speed. I hope there isn't another random tornado being spawned out of nowhere. That would be delightful. In we go. Hmm, which island is it that I need to get this into? Oh, I can finally kill these. Anyway, um, we're definitely doing another boss fight, I think. Here we go. I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin soup here. You've picked up an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something should something could jump out at any moment. Hungry for soup or robot. Oh please eat him. Please eat him. Do me this little favor. Get rid of him. Oh no, he's flying away. Ah, he, he almost got him. I'm out of here. Ooh, spooky. Oh there he is. Mr. Levias.
Oh, that's disgusting. It's actually very disgusting. I feel sad for it. Oh, that's disgusting. Looks kind of similar to the whale in Link's Awakening, but only kind of similar, so... Great Spirit of the Sky, Levias. Okay, I'm just gonna be flying around. Die, the eyes of nonsense. Oh, the music's nice. Oh my god, fuck you. How about you do this way? I hope the eyes don't regrow. That'll be disappointing. Okay, thank you. It's actually not flying that fast. Oh my god, fuck you. Oh. This turning around isn't good, you know. It's so difficult to gauge. He's going faster. I see what you were trying to do. Okay, dead. I see what I need to do now. I need to land on you. Ugh. Yuck. Oh no. I hope it doesn't regrow. Where is he? Where is that thing? There he is. Definitely far away from us. I'm not sure whether I need to land on him or attack him. I guess we'll figure that out soon enough. Okay. Yeah, we needed to land on him. This is disgusting. Why would this be a thing? Ocular Parasite by Low Sight. I see some things. Okay, what do I do? Okay, what do I do? Okay, nothing with this. <laughs> Maybe it is. Okay, definitely not that. Okay, what else can I use? Hmm. I can use this. Oh wait, there's an easier thing to do, I think. No. Mm. Are you seriously? Okay, will that help? Nah, okay. What other items do I have? Oh, okay. This makes sense. Oh my god. Die. 
Okay. One done. Okay. Okay, if this is the entire boss fight, then we're golden. Eat your shit. Oh, so I don't need to use the arrow. Okay. We're just cutting him. Okay, let this be the entire fight, please. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so happy when this is the entire fight. I do not have to do any gimmicks or anything. I'm still kind of terrified from the... Uh, Pirate ship fight, honestly. Mm. Okay. There we go. That was a little bit tricky. Oh, he's not done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this it? No, that isn't it. Sadly enough. Okay. Please. How long do we have to torture yourself with that? Okay, he's dead. That was an easy boss fight. I did take some damage, I'll be honest. It did figure... It took me too long to figure out how to beat him, but... His sticks and everything is gone. Oh, look at how nice he is now. And we're just standing there, while he's shaking all this way around. Wait, we're going... somewhere. Where are we going? Ooh, I see. Oh, this is nice. He actually looks normal now. And where's Link? Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this mostly delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But what business is done now? That business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as the warden of the skies. And what do they call you, boy? Arlink, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in names. If I knew them, I would be happy. Kind of rude for you to mention that, you know? Hmm. You carry a curious sword, boy, and I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. I see it now. Ling, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How interesting. I assume you've come to hear what is known of the Triforce. I know I read that wrong, but I'm sticking with it. As I suspected. Listen closely, and I will tell you. As you likely know, Long ago, an evil force attempted to take this tri Triforce for his own. The goddess did everything in her power to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, she hid the Triforce somewhere within the rock you call Skyloft. However, its location has been kept secret. Even I do not know where it rests now. Oh, but the goddess did entrust me with a hint as, of, as to the trans Triforce's location. The clue is a song, meant to be played on the harp you hold. It is known as the Song of the Hero. The song is the key to revealing the secret location of the Triforce. The goddess split this song into four... Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Into four parts. She entrusted one part to me and the other three to the dragons of the land. You must gather each of the parts of the song of the hero, seek out the dragons and convince them that to teach to convince them to teach you their parts. When they've taught you what they know, come to me and I will complete the song with my own voice. The dragons can be found at Farron Woods, Elden Volcano and Laneru Desert. 
go on then. Find the dragons you now seek. Okay. So, I think we're going to the foreign woods now. As that is definitely the best place to start, considering the dragon is there. There seem to be other dragons that we have not met. And I'm honestly surprised we haven't met them yet. Maybe more dungeons? Mm -hmm. For the song parts? That seems to be right. But again, I heard this game doesn't have many dungeons left. So I guess this is just us exploring the skies and the ground. Okay. I, are you kidding me? I'm flying into the entrance. Let me through. Thank you. So far in wood it, woods it is. Honestly, I might check the feathers because I did collect some of them. Why do these tornadoes spawn literally in the... At, like, I, I, would, it, I would dodge it. Anyway. A spontaneous tornado, of course. Another one. You... <laughs> This is my emotion now, honestly. And they take hearts, of course. Because why the fuck wouldn't they? Okay. Oh, you can also die. Anyway, um... Of course there wouldn't be any hearts. Why would there be hearts? That makes no sense at all. Wait, no, there are flowers, right? Or some stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to beep and go to... Uh, I just wanted to beep and to go away. And we fulfilled that, so we might as well continue. Yep, upgrade. Hey, kids! How's Crapper treating you? Anything to upgrade today? I would like to use him as part for my new shield. Is that possible, please? I would really appreciate if that was the case. Bird feather. I do not have the bird feather. Nor do I know where to get it. So fuck you. Wait, I think this chest is now active. Yeah, it is. What is in here? Mm, that's sad. That hurts. That hurts me on a very personal level. What's wait, 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 shut up, shut up. No, I don't care. I'm interested in this. A small quiver. With this in your pouch, you can carry five more arrows. I see. Oh my god, the, the voice. Terrible. Anyway, we can't upgrade it, so useless. Bye bye. I'm sure this game, if it was more difficult, would require us to actually get potions and shit. But at this point, it's not necessary. The game works very much fine without it. I know probably. Oh yeah, I'm over saving right now. I'm over saving because theoretically, I'm gonna land to the earth quite quickly to another bird statue. I can just save there. Oh well. It's better to oversave than to not save, right? Okay. I'm going to the green light. Oh yeah, green light. I almost said I went to the wrong one. So what kind of a test do we have to do this time? We did the silent realms? I'm sure this is going to be some sort of a loud realm. Or something. Or... Blind realm, where you don't have any lights or something. Making it descend directly into them at the moment. Okay. 
That's a good news. No. Descent into this area. Yes. I guess we don't have a choice really. Do okay. You've done some of the stuff you could do, Fee. So I'm happy with that, I guess. I haven't seen this before. Oh, that's the main entrance. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, bud. You would probably want to know that I've seen the blessed butterflies flapping around here lately. Mm -hmm. Too bad I have absolutely no musical ability whatsoever. I could create beautiful tones to save my life. I couldn't. Brum, 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 brum. I'm too far. There we go. Beautiful. Whoa, I think my heart stopped. This is it, the discovery of a lifetime. There is no mistaking it. The symbol must mark the, one of the goddess walls left on the hero, left for the hero. I don't know what to draw on there, so I'm just gonna leave you. Have fun with that. I'm going to the woods, which I am not able to access. Okay, I... I'm going to ask Impa. I hope she has the answer. A strange phenomenon. Is this like a set order that you have to go to like Lanier Desert first or something? Okay, what do you have to tell me, Impa? You seek the dragons. When the song of the hero is complete, the path to the trifles shall be illuminated. Then take care and be on your way. Very helpful. Definitely worth my time. What's the time? Yeah, this stream is going to be very... Very low action, considering there's only been a little bit of stuff to happen. Okay, how do I get into these woods? Is my real question. Far in woods. How do we get there? Can we even get there? What what obvious things will 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 you tell me, Fee? Enlighten me, please. In order to acquire the trifles, the power that will allow you to vanquish demise, you must first complete the song of the hero. Your urgent task is to learn the different parts of the song from the three dragons who preside over the three different provinces of the land. Current session. Okay, so again, very useful information that I already knew. Is th does this mean I have to do like a different dragon now? I'm gonna try Elden. Yeah, let's try Elden, I guess. Listen, I I'm too tired to deal with Fee's nonsense at this point. Like, this definitely needs to... Oh no. Okay, I can now see why the traveling is a bit of a handful for people. Like, it's fun for the first two, two, two to three times you do it, but... You're just so slow, and the points are so far away from each other. And there's nothing. There's literally nothing to do. All you can do is literally in a sky loft, and then maybe some little tiny islands, but that's it. At least there's these shortcuts. Otherwise, this would be possibly terrible. Hey, there we go. I thought I couldn't move, but then I actually moved during during the dive, so that was good. Okay, so yeah, Elden is definitely the first. Definitely the first. Where did I manage to land? It's going to be some secret area for that, right? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they actually captured me. Did they take away my shit? Yes, they did, in fact, do that. Hmm, disappointing.
Oh, they took my stuff away, of course. I'll gladly accept any hearts, please. I have nothing. Perfect. This is a stealth section, isn't it? Ta-da! I'm here to save today! Hey, long time no see! Ah, don't tell me you forgot my ugly mug! I'm Platz, the monk where you helped on the northern te in the northern temple. I saw them dragging you off unconscious, so I tell them. You're pretty fearless. Where are you up to now? Searching. Ah, I know why you're really here. You heard a rumor about the baddies and their treasure too, didn't you, pal? Hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm talking about. The rumor that some bad guys are having a little get-together on this mountain. And everybody knows that there are. Where there's bad guys, there's treasure. That's just the way of the world. Don't you gotta take care of your own business first? Haven't you noticed? They swiped all your stuff. While you were out, they took you down good, pal. Now you're gonna want to get your stuff back before you go and try anything else. I can get you started. I stole these bags for you. Is it the digging mitts? Yes, they are. Thank you. I'm not sure why talking to a barrel did that, but... Who am I to judge? Time for me to tunnel out, pal. You got your works cut out for you. Good luck out there. Okay, so this definitely is a stealth section. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, okay, that seems easy enough. I probably should have checked where I'm going out. Oh, I see. Okay. That's where we are. Mm-hmm. Wait. There are some pots there. Oh, there's stuff up here, right? No. Okay, I, I guess we're going this way. Time to play some Metal Gear Solid. Elden Volcano. Save. Yep. Hmm, interesting. Mm hmm. Hey! What are you thinking? You shouldn't be out here in the open with no way to defend yourself. This place is crawling with thugs. Well, just be careful they don't spot you while you're sneaking around. Oh, okay. So the temple is blocked. Oh, so they just have that. And I probably don't even need to say this again, but seriously, pal. Don't let them bad guy. Don't let them bad guys see you. They ain't gonna do nothing nice if they catch you. So don't do anything heroic and get yourself caught. Got it? Just three dots. Ah, you know, I really worry about you, pal. It's a weakness of mine. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna show you something good. Open up your map. I feel just terrible for you, pal. Here, let me do one more thing for you. All plats are gonna see. Show you what in all what's in all the treasure chests. Ta-da! Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. After all, none of it looked like stuff I'd already want anyhow. But if some of them things are yours, I'll bet you're gonna want them... I wanna... I'll bet you're gonna want them... I can't read. I'll bet you're gonna want to get them back, right? Alright then, I'm going back to rummage around for treasure. See you later! Okay, definitely see you later. What is this? I see I need to get past the dam. No, I'm definitely not going that way. Okay, stay hidden. I have an idea as to how to get there, but... 
Oh my god, can you go the other way, please? Please don't go this way. Oh, I, oh, I almost got a little heart attack. Just a little bit more. There we go. Oh! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh wait, oh no. What does this do? Oh, okay, wait, no. I see what this does. Yeah, I think this is the right way. I don't mean only for the underground, I mean for the above ground as well. Seems about right. Of course. Oh, this is how I attack. I would not mind if you exploded a bit quicker. There we go. I need hearts. Definitely need hearts. Where are we? Okay, that's where we are. What's here? Oh, nothing. Oh, this is where the enemy used to be. Okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> These things can go die. In hell. They're not there. I can't go that way for sure. Okay, let me see. How do I get there? Oh, I probably skipped this part of that. Oh, yeah, I skipped it. I can get... I know how to get past there. Okay, I probably skipped this over. Oh, no, this thing. There it is. How do I get up there? That'll be a fun thing to know. Um, what's this? Yeah, this is the grappling hook. Oh, I, I kind of know, I guess. I need to somehow get up there. Where is it? Oh, there he is. You little sneaky beaky. Um, maybe. Oh my god, shut up! Piece of shit. Quite literally. Do you mind? No, you didn't see me. You didn't see nothing. The only thing you've seen is the fact that you will go to the right now. Go to the right. Shank you. Oh. Mm hmm. Definitely not this way. Oh. I can go this way now, right? Okay. I see this as a big puzzle, so that's why I don't mind it as much, I think. Okay, I definitely cannot go that way, and that's a barrier. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I definitely cannot go that way. Not yet, at least. What's here? Where can I go? This is the real problem. I can't go this way. I can't go here. I can go here, but I definitely cannot go up there. I need to find a way how to get up there. Hmm. This is tricky. Like, actually. What happens if I go this way? Oh, wait. 
I can go that way. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Smart. Let's go. This is a little bit of a time waste moment, but it's all worth it in the end. Okay, we now go this way. And there we go. Well, how many cutscenes do we get? This is a bit ridiculous. I know where to go. And here we go. Honestly, I thought there would be lava, but there isn't. Okay, I'm sure there's something other... Oh! An item. What is it? Is this a vacuum cleaner? It is. Lovely. Hmm. How convenient that it's literally right here. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, he's going all around there. Yeah, that's... I know where to go now. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I definitely wouldn't mind you going in any other place than here. Okay, he goes that way. I, I can just go that way. Okay, I see. I see. This is it. Oh. A bit less so than I expected. Here we are. I shan't be beat. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, so this section is now beaten. Mm hmm. Okay. I can go through here. This is somewhat. What was that? Oi, what was this? I, I don't see it anymore. I thought there was like another map there. Oh well, doesn't matter. We finally got in here. I got my claw shots back. How lovely. Okay. I think we've gotten everything from there. We can just safely move along to the next route over there. Let's not question why that thing didn't see us. It's definitely not important right now. Okay, we at least got an items back, so I'm glad for that. Okay. There's something there. I don't know where this goes. Oh, maybe it goes like this way somehow. I'm not sure. Where does it go? Um, I don't even know what's in that way. But I'm gonna follow the other item, which is this one. And I'm assuming it's gonna go all the way somehow over here or something. We'll see. Oh, maybe that's like the exit, actually. No, no. It shouldn't be. Let me actually check what's here. I'm gonna see. What's it this way? Oh, there's nothing. I think this is just an entrance. Oh, wait. What will it give me? Give me some birth feathers. Would you be so kind to do that? 
Ah, uh, no, just some nonsense no one cares about. I genuinely just want the hearts so that the beeping can stop. That's all I'm after. Right now. I haven't been here, right? Yeah, I haven't. This definitely feels like a place I would go to. What's inside? Nothing. Wow, useful. Anyway, we at least have, oh, quite a significant number of hearts. So no more nonsensical beeping, hopefully. I'm kind of afraid if this is just the build up to the dungeon, how long is that going to take? The actual dungeon. Also, interestingly enough, the last one was fire themed and we're doing Elden region again. So I'm not sure whether that's something that's good or bad or in between. We definitely cannot go that way. But what we can do in... Oh, okay, I see where this is going. It's going down here, so that you might be able to then somehow probably go. Nah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, wait. I need the, the rope for that. Oh, for that I probably need arrows. Or bombs. Bombs for that thing to go down. I see, I see now. But I can't cross that now. Oh, I can. I absolutely can. You can do this. I'm smart. Please, go into the lava. Oh no, that I might have set myself for failure. Hopefully I didn't. The third item out of how many? That was the wrong direction. Okay. Okay. Oh, that just allows us to go. Okay, I see, I see. That makes sense. So the gate is immovable. Yeah, this is definitely a linear linear path. I thought it would be more like a non-linear path, but it's definitely linear. Not that there's anything too wrong with that. I'm just saying. Hmm. We might want to go up this way because that's going to spew out there. Or, we're just gonna go that way, to climb the top hill. And yeah, that seems much better, I think. Hmm. Okay, we'll just go down. Oh, this probably never goes down. Okay, so this pretty much blocked us. I guess they were tired of adding all these... Um, well, arbitrary walls, so they just made some environmental things happen. Definitely something I would do. To kind of break up the monotony. Hmm. Oh, we actually probably didn't maybe have time to get there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna assume that we didn't. No, we could have gone here, I think. Oh, we can't. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So, there's an A. Maybe this way? What's this way? Are we going inside now? Hmm, maybe. Well, there's nothing here. Well, that was definitely not helpful at all. 
Oh, the weather was different. Mm. I was expecting that to happen to some extent. Oh my goodness, which way to go? Um, there. What's this way? Oh, that's just exit. Okay. Hmm, I do not know which way to... No, that's the bonus place where we've been to. That's definitely not part of this. Not only that, I have to repeat this entire section. Okay. Well, else... Where else can we actually go? Like, theoretically, we're probably going down here. There, and that's where it stops, right? Well, Volcano East is where we started, I think. Yep. This is where the enemies are and shit. Mm. Uh, I, I do not know where to go. This definitely feels like a dungeon, so... At least there's that. Okay, so that's where the road ends. What's there? Um, I guess we can go this way. Oh, yeah. That's definitely the way we want to go. Not definitely, but it's at least somewhat, I'm sure, a way we want to go. Okay. okay, we're back at the beginning, so that's not the way we wanted to go at all. In fact, that has definitely not been the way. Well, he notices. That's the real question. So how did we get past this? Okay, we definitely- Oh my god, fuck you. I... Oh, we can just get shortcuts now, that's good. Okay, heart, I'll take. Okay, that way is all blocked, I think. There's nothing there. Yeah, there's nothing here. So we definitely need to go further this way. Okay, not this way. Oh, okay, I know. We can now go this way. And get rid of this, so we can actually cross it. Oh my god, something's climbing on me. I hate when bugs do that. And I think we can now do this. Yep. Shortcuts all the way. Ah! Close. It's actually very close, which is surprising. That they didn't let me have that. It's going from there, so there's random place there, maybe. Connected somehow. Probably not. Hmm. And there we go. Honestly, I don't mind stealth sections, but this one's getting a bit too long. Especially because of these slotty things and stuff like this is very slow. It's my only problem with it. It's definitely better than the Breath of the Wild st st uh, stealth section. That was very boring. I hate boring stealth sections. Which way is he going? Hmm. Okay, now he's going the wrong way. Okay, here we go. So we're all the way back here. That's definitely helpful. So I, I guess we really do need to go this way, even though there was the lava fall all this time. Yep. Where do I go here? Yeah, this 
definitely doesn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I don't think it's this way, but that's the only way. It's definitely not this way. So there's only this way to go up here. Or we can somehow... Go the other way there. And I'm not sure how. Where was I held? I was held here. I'll spawn there. So I could theoretically maybe... Go back. You know what? It's all one big shortcut anyway, so I'm just gonna treat it like such. Okay, I hope I'm right. Because if I'm not, I'll be very disappointed. Riding on the da 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 yellow submarine. I know this is not a submarine, but that's the song that comes to mind. It's very kind of sailing. Okay, I would not mind if this was a bit faster, come on. Some of us some of us, some of us have actual lives to get back into. There's nothing there. Hmm, I wonder. Going this way is one thing. Oh no. It has been a waste of time. A complete and utter waste of time. Oh wait, no. It might not have been. No, it has been. Hmm. Well, that's a disappointment. Wait, I haven't checked the other side, right? Let me just make sure, but it's probably just wrong. Yeah, this is definitely wrong. Okay, I'm not sure where to go. There's that lava thing. do we get there? Why does it feel like I'm somehow... Now we're going this way. Mm -hmm. So far so good. And here we are already. So can I get there? Yeah, this doesn't seem like a way to get there. All of this. Oh my god. Come on, Shigeru, why did you make this so difficult? This did not need to be that difficult. In fact, this needed to be much easier. I just convoluted. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely only one way, and this is this way, but this one is blocked. So I presume you get there, you can't go this way. I need to mark my blocks, just so I know which way I can't go. I think these are good for that, so we can't go this way. Wait, I'm gonna check that first, but for sure we can go this way. We cannot go this way. Which other way we cannot go? Yeah, there's like a thing here, um... Hmm, how do I mark this? We cannot go this way. Yep, that seems to be about right for now. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, can you just not come here? Get out! No, not that way. Mm -hmm. No, this doesn't go up. 
Yeah, I know I can't go that way. Good. Well, I already pressed it, okay, so that doesn't count. I definitely think I need to get past this, but I'm not sure how. No, there's nothing there, so I'm not sure. No. There must be a different way. I have only these three things a bit. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. That was even worse. Oh wait, no. Oh no, this makes sense. So now we're actually continuing. Okay. I was being dumb. I didn't realize I could use the bombs for this. Well, to my... To be fair, it, they did look different. Whees! So hot! One of the most amazing treasures of this world, just up ahead! Okay, what can we get this way? Nothing here. Yeah, I'm definitely going this way first because I want the bombs. And then I can get the other stuff. Oh, I didn't notice the goddess cube there before. I don't have the sword now, so that's definitely making my job a little bit more difficult, but... Oh well. Okay, where is this? That's where the treasure is. And we need to be able to throw... Stuff using the ledges, yes. Okay, but that's definitely late game stuff. I first want to collect the bombs. So they do offer a little bit of a... They do offer a little bit of a... Difference in the way you acquire the weapons. And there's a digging hole there. Okay. Where are you going to go? Are you gonna stand there the entire time? I'm not sure what to do. First save, save, yes. That was actually kind of brave, I think. Because I didn't know whether that's the way to do it. I'm sure there's probably a better way. Hopefully. Where is he? Mm. Mm. I definitely would appreciate that not happening. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where are you going to go? Okay. There we go. Stealth mission successful. Okay. This is... Okay. But... How? How? Okay, I, I kind of want to go through this, but I'm sure I cannot go through that. Yeah, there's definitely not a way I'm going this way. So if anything, there's going to be probably a way down. 
I need to figure out whether I can go through this or not. And I do not want to repeat an unnecessary section. Let's see. Now nah, they've noticed me. Yeah, they noticed me immediately. Okay, so I, I have to stay hidden. That's disappointing. Okay, I'm literally doing this for 15 minutes now. Okay. I can't go that way. I'm kind of stuck here, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. I hate these. I hate them. With all my body. Mm -hmm. Wait. Let me try something, I guess. Nah, that won't work. Of course it won't. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that? Really? He sees me on the edge? Okay, I guess. Well, well. Oh no. Now the beeping's back. No! No! Just leave me alone! Hmm. No, you don't see anything. You, you didn't see nothing. I know what you want me to do, but I do not seem to have that weapon yet, so... Oh, I done goofed. I need that weapon first. Definitely. Can I do something to you? Okay, how do I get past you? Do I have no way of getting past you? Okay, that's fine. I'm. St oh, okay, that's good. Acceptable. I can just go this way, right? Oh my god, I wasted so much time for this. Okay, I need the... Uh, what is it called? I need the uh, slingshot first. But definitely I'm exploring what's inside of that. I hope it's hard because I have not wanna listen to this nonsense sound again. Please let there be hearts. Uh kind of. Well, I mean not really. Okay, will it give me a heart? Probably not. The enemies here are never that uh these things are mm. Oh wait. Actually something different. Uh I don't have the bombs, so. Wait, I can use this. At least one heart. Oh, of course not. I'm forever bound to listen to this horrible sound. I am curious as to how useful this is. Well, I guess I have to wait for the thing to fall down. If it decides to this century. It's so slow. It, they couldn't make it slower even if they tried. Oh, 
Ah, oh my god, no. I could have just jumped on the other side, right? And all my hearts are gone. Ah. This is not good. Definitely not good. And I kick it. My slingshot. Yay. Okay. And now we can actually distract the enemies. That's good. Yeah, and now we can go back. We don't have to go all the way around, which I was afraid of. And that's the reason why I didn't go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Some action finally happening, right? Am I right or am I right? Okay, there's something there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I want to save here. I'm saving here, definitely. Yes, save. I'm not sure how... That's how this works, okay. But that definitely didn't help. We need to recenter. Okay, die. Oh, sorry. You get distracted. Oh, here we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's not where we actually want to go, right? No, it is. It indeed is. Okay, I almost died with that. That would be disappointing. Well, I've gotten the bombs, so that's good. Where can I go with bombs? And yeah, the bomb bag is back. Okay, where's this? Oh, ooh. I'm just gonna stock on bombs at this point. I'm not sure where to go from here. Into the dungeon? Nah. We are not able to go there, it seems. <laughs> Volcano Summit, perhaps? Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, that way, probably. There we go. Okay, I wouldn't mind you turning around. Oh my god, these slimy bullshit things. Why are they there? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I almost got a mini heart attack of this because that would have been absolutely horrendous. I would have hurt someone if that was the thing. I still want to hurt someone because this is ridiculously stupid, but... Why at the beginning? Why are there no checkpoints? Oh, when you die, you go from all the way at the start. <laughs> Great punishment. Fuck you, seriously. Consider just, you know, eliminating yourself from existence. Um, there's nothing there, so I might as well not even do it. Okay, this way. Words cannot describe the way I feel right now. My disappointment. Okay. 
whatever. I don't care anymore. No, I do not want to fight any of you. Shall all just disappear forever and ever. Oh no. Yeah, this is the weird map thing. Oh, this is the... Ah, oh, sad. We have to go all the way around. Because... Whatever. Anyway. We seem to have been doing quite alright. Without that little hiccup there. Honestly, it might have been a shortcut. Probably wasn't, but it might have been. I highly doubt it was a shortcut, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. It was anything but a shortcut. Yep. And I am now able to use the three remaining... There we go. Yeah, I used two bombs in pro for the price of... Oh. Yeah, there's definitely nothing this way, so I'm not even going there. Volcano Summit it is. Yep, finally, my sword. I also will appreciate my shield back if that's possible. True Master Sword back. Thank you, Master Link. Please excuse me for leaving your side during this brief trouble with the volcanic eruption. While I was... Oh, that's the way... That was the worst way I pronounced it so far. While I was here, I detected a strong source of power emanating from the area on the far right. Signs indicate a 60% chance that the dragon who knows the verse from the Song of Hero dwells there. Please require the rest of your gear and continue your search for the dragon. Okay. Well, this was an interesting puzzle. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I can actually fight, this is not supposed to be a stealth mission anymore, right? At least I hope. Okay, saved. Thank you. Yep, definitely. Oh, I had a fairy in my bottle. Last time. Hmm. Now, how do we do this? Okay. Okay, what's there? Oh, there's nothing. That's just okay. Mm hmm. Oh, is there a way? Yeah, there's a way there. I'll borrow you for a moment. Oh, that was one wasted effort. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not going there yet. I need to recollect my gear. Which is this way. I think. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my god, really? Suck it, dick. Please. Do us all a favor. Ah, oh, disappointing. Anyway, I hope my shield and shit is fine, because if not... <laughs> this is so terrible. I wish pain on everyone right now. Anyway. It's kind of late. What's the time? Oh, it's not early. You can suck a cock. How about that? Would that help you stop being such a wanker? Well, that would probably be it. That would probably uh, not eliminate it, but emphasize it. 
Okay, I would appreciate some of these. There. First I'll get rid of the bats because these can be so annoying. There's one more. I smell him. You can... Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, now there's only one hit, because I'm so strong. I'm gonna collect the bombs, because my bomb bag is quite empty. And I'm sure we're gonna need them soon anyway. Anyway, what's in here? Is there my rest of my stuff? Yeah. It's the rest of the stuff. Okay, whatever. Time to go. Time to leave. Goodbye. Precautionary measure. Stay away. I do not like the fact that it did not explode. Probably needs to be very close. Otherwise, the impact is well impacted by the nearby ledge. Good. Anyway, now that we're done with this treacherous path, anyway, still better, still better than the second visit. Honestly, the second visit was the worst. There. Move the cube. Build the clock. Or whatever it is for. I'm not sure. Anyway. Time to meet the dragon. The fire one at least. Uh, I'm gonna equip this. In fact, it's... It, uh, mm hmm mm hmm I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, so we just need to cut these off, right? That's the security here. Yep. I think we've already done this in the second dungeon, no less. Yeah, this is not a challenge anymore. Come on, Fire Dragon, you can do it better. How about not having those openings? That would have been difficult. I'm not sure how I would have opened it then. Okay. Cutscene time. Finally, the second dragon. Oh, a man of flesh and blood has walked his way to the heart of my burning hall. Now this is something. If I have the right of it, the mark you bear upon your hand is not just a fashionable decoration. There can be no, no, no doubt about it then. The goddess has chosen you to hear the melody I have guarded for her all these years. Listen well, human child. I will sing you my part of the song of the hero. Oh yes, smell it. Smell the song. Smell his dragon breath. Okay. <laughs> Part of the song of the hero. Okay. That's definitely something. I am afraid that eruption has caused my was caused by an explosion of my power. And it looks like you were caught up in it. My apologies. The skies above this land should clear soon. You should go. Is that it? Is that literally the only visit of the dragon? Oh, 
A report, Master. The volcanic activity has imp that imp impeded your return to the sky earlier has ceased. It is now possible to return to the sky again. Master, the melody you just acquired is one part of the song of the hero. I recommend you seek out the other two dragons in their respective areas. <laughs> to learn the other two parts of the song. Yeah, I think we're done for tonight, definitely. Yeah, this has been very... Daring. At least we've managed to do something, so there's that. So, we're collecting the stuff, and then there's going to be the temple for the Triforce, right? I, that's at least what I'm seeing here. Wait, um, there we go. Um, no. Actually, it is this. It is the screen. Oh, there we go. There's a little piece of paper there. I see what you did there. So all of those are gonna then form, I think, one big paper there. Anyway, I think this episode is done. Well, this section was a bit interesting. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of the stealth section. But it also wasn't the worst. Um, definitely the bad part was... The being forced to return to the original area. That definitely did not... No, that, that's definitely terrible. Other than that, yeah, so far fine. I know this episode has been maybe a little less... Actually, no, it wasn't less eventful, because we did go through, like, the dungeon, so to speak. With that said, um... I think it's time... Actually, I did save, so... I'm just gonna switch here. Yep. We're definitely getting close to the end of the game. This is the Act 3. Um... I guess good night and see you tomorrow. Question. Actually, no, tomorrow I can't. I will probably not be able to stream tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, which is Thursday, I will continue. I'm planning on finishing this game by the end of this week. Hopefully, that'll, that is a realistic goal to have. Anyway, have a good night.